Today we're going to be looking at how you can use Terrain Navigator Pro to produce a custom map and then send it to us here at MyTopo for printing. So after you have the Terrain Navigator Pro installed, the first thing that you want to do is start up the software. When Terrain Navigator comes up, it's going to bring you to a location within the state that you're currently working with. So to find the location that you want to build a map on, go under the Find menu and go to Search All Place Names. And in this case, I'll type in the name of a town that I'm looking for, Thermopolis, and click on Find. And we find City Town Thermopolis, so I will replace Active to bring up the topo map at that location. And it shows me a red circle there. I can just click on that to get rid of it. All right, so this is the location that I want to build the map from. So I will go to the File menu and go to Print Publish Map. And since we're going to be exporting a file, we want to switch to the Export Preview. And now go to the Templates tab here. And if your Terrain Navigator Pro is up to date, you should have the latest MyTopo folded and rolled templates. So you want to first select the size and the orientation that you want. In this case, I'll go with a 24 by 36 inch folded map and we'll go with a landscape. So 36 by 24 and click on load. And here's the map area. Now by default, we're at one to 24,000, which is the original topo scale. And I have a couple of options here that I want to show you. So it's on the topo and I can also switch to the shaded relief instead of just the standard USGS map. And that will give us a nice relief view of this location. And you can see it really helps the hills and the mountains stand out. You can also, I'll switch back to the standard. You can also change your scale to something closer if you want. We'll do one to 10,000, click on update and you can see that zooms in on it quite a bit. And under the merge drop down here, we can merge it with an aerial orthophoto, and that will have a topo map base, and then it will have an aerial photo that it's combining it with. So in a lot of cases, this will give you a really nice view. There's just a, a lot of different uh, options that you can choose here. I'll also switch this over to just a regular aerial orthophoto. Uh, just a variety of different choices for the type of map that you want. So we'll just go with a standard USGS map at 1 to 10,000 scale. And I can change my grid style here on the edge to uh, the ruler with a default grid. And that's going to give us the uh, grid lines and the numbers around the edge of the map, depending on how you have your grid set up. Okay, if you want to move the location around, just click and drag within the map here and it will fine tune the area. There are some other options you can choose here with the uh, text, for example, and uh, changing text around, adding text boxes and so on. But I just want to show you a basic view of how to export this map. All right, once you have your map set up the way that you want it, you can go to the export button here and type in the name of the PDF that you want to save it as. And make sure that you're in the correct location where you want to save it and click on the save button. If you go to the MyTopo homepage, you can go under custom map design and go to upload your TMP created custom map for printing. And this is the page that you want. So go down here and select your paper size. Make sure this is the same that you selected and exported in Terrain Navigator Pro. We did this as a folded map. And finally, you get to upload your map. So we'll click here. And in Documents, here's my map. So I'll double click it. And finally, click on Add to Cart. Now at this point, the map is in my shopping cart and I can go to the checkout and put in my email, shipping address, and complete the process. So this is how you create and export a PDF map from Terrain Navigator Pro for use in MyTopo.